morning, Chris. Good morning, Ryan. Do you usually get up this early? No. <laughs> Hi, Zeke. Did you sleep well, buddy? Did you sleep well? Ooh. Oh, Whoa. first thing in the morning. Oh, morning. How you feeling, Dana D? Great. How about 100 miles? Okay, let's do it. It's kind of the magic number. This is my morning ritual. This is what I do. Who loves Chris? We love Chris. They're incredible. So I'm gonna just pop one in the microwave for you. Yeah, thank you, my man. I've already had cereal and a donut, but I definitely need a burrito too. There's your burrito, oh. Ryan. Today's gonna be a good day. Today it's just Dana and I heading into the desert. And uh, I'm excited. It's gonna be fun. We're moving well together. We're a good team. Michael's gonna stay here and uh, heal up. He's gonna get a bike fit. Hopefully, hopefully his knees get stronger because we want him back on the team and we'll meet him down the line. He's gonna take a train or something and we're gonna reunite this, this Burning Man crew because uh, there's three of us and we want to finish this with all three of us. Chris, are you gonna miss us? So much. I'm gonna go back to bed. <laughs> Look at that beautiful bike lane in Salt Lake City. 300 South is what we're looking for. Chris made me a map. Ooh. I'm gonna call my mama, tell her we're okay. Hey, bye. Hey, mom, just wanted to call and say I love you. Yeah, I love you too. So you just now taking off from Salt Lake? Yep, we're heading out of Salt Lake now. We had a great time with Chris. Anyway, we just wanted to call and say we love you. Okay. Love okay. you. I hope this is the right way. We're literally right on the runway of the airport. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's up, baby? Do you want to stop here and get a photo? Wait for the next one to come over? I think this is the coolest bike path in the world. It goes literally steps away from the airport. So I know this is totally different for you, Ryan, because you're used to being out here on your own, doing your thing, like, oh, whatever happens, you know, but, oh my God, now you are feeling some pressure because you have to babysit me through this. And the biggest thing is that I have one kidney and I have to keep that little kidney hydrated. So I have noticed, like, even now that we're starting this route, you're like, counting water bottles like I gotta do this if Xantha finds out that I may not have had enough water which I totally do because you're a water bottle counter now she would kill you but it wouldn't matter but it's awesome because I see you like okay how much water do we have how much food do we have and I love you for it we're going that way ladies and gentlemen that way to Burning Man that way to Burning Man that way middle desert it feels like and, but it's not hot because every place you look it's like that so I keep thinking it's like ice or snow or cold like it's crazy it's crunchy yeah this is the salt mmm that's salty. Totally salty yeah super salty we're getting off here in the middle of nowhere the next services are for 66 miles Time to stock up. This is the ultimate gas station picnic. So good. They have pizza. We got the muscle milk stuff. Soft serve, amazing, beautiful, tasty, sugary ice cream. This gas station is called Tesoro, which in Spanish means treasure, which is pretty much what it is. It's a treasure. <laughs> All right, Dana, what are you gonna do? Watch this. That was kind of a weak honk, but he did it. He Dana has the magic charm on these boys. Yeah, yeah! yeah. <laughs> it's the little things. <laughs> 
goes Dana, riding her bike on the salt. How is it? It's very salty. <laughs> I keep thinking of snow because we're from Colorado and when you see white like this, you think cold. And it just looks like snow, but then it's so hot and it's so reflective and it's like another planet. It's crazy. It has been one of my best days ever. Epic. We are nearing our home and we were told about this Mexican restaurant 66 miles ago at that random gas station. And we're pretty excited to eat some Mexican food. We've ridden about 125 miles. The sun's going down. It's the perfect night to introduce Dana into sleeping under the stars again. I think she said it's been 20 years since she's slept out. Tonight's a good night. Hi, Dana. Hi. Are you excited for Mexican food? So excited for Mexican food. That's pretty good. Unfortunately, our dreams have been crushed. No burritos for us. The cafe is closed because last week was the, the Speedway races and they were busy and thousands of people. So everybody's taking this today off. So we're gonna have a gas station picnic. We got some juice. Got some chips. And, and hey, uh, we're pretty close to a town. We might uh, order pizza. So we're just gonna sit here and enjoy the day. It's been a beautiful day. This ready? gas station has showers. Yeah, buddy, I'm ready. All right. I'm so excited for a gas station shower. All right, my man. Ready? ready. Thank you very much. Okay. What an amazing day. We rode 125 miles. Dana and I had so much fun. We got to see the salt flats. We got through Salt Lake City. We're feeling good, our bodies are getting strong. This is the end of day six. I definitely feel a million times better. Ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't tried a gas station shower, you gotta do this. It was so great. I've like never taken a gas station shower before, but it was awesome. It felt so good. What are you picking out for dinner? Okay, <laughs> this is awesome. I have searched this store. Okay, I've got some Fig Newtons. Okay, that's good. Yeah, good, you know, calories. Banana, mm -hmm. awesome. Um, look at this. Frosted mini wheats. Mini wheats with... Yogurt. Yogurt. That's perfect. I think it's awesome. And then like, I was just like eyeing these Butterfingers. Oh, Carlos, that was amazing. Thank you, man. Okay, you want Let me quickly explain what's going on. We are out at this gas station six miles out of Wendover, Nevada. I had called Pizza Hut to see if they would deliver to us, Brian, and they said, no, it's too far away. Can. This gas station had been ransacked by thousands of people the week earlier from the speed races, so there really wasn't much food in this gas station, and we were really limited on our food options, and then this dude, Ken, saved the day. Right now, I'll grab my phone and yeah. put it under Ken, okay? We just had a turnaround in plans. And I love him. Oh my God, I want to <laughs> yes. eat after that 125 miles. I think our pizza's here. Yes. Well, hold on, hold on, I got you a treat. Oh, you did? Compliments of me. What? <laughs> Too many Ben and Jerry oh, cookies. Oh, you're the man. <laughs> How about that? Thanks. Oh, you're Give the man, up. dude. Thanks so yeah, much. No. Oh, oh, look at that. That is road magic right there. Right there, look at that cookie dough. There's seriously nothing better than pizza when you're starving in the middle of nowhere. Cheers! <laughs> I see the darkness over there past the, the gas pumps? That's where we're going. We're gonna walk out there and just put our pads down and sleep under the stars. So Cheers! <laughs>